Vision here, back on the video. Um, and today we're back to Twitter, um, another Twitter reacts video. Um, and today we're going to be talking about Moses Ingram. And for those of you who don't know, she is the new um, star in the Star Wars universe um, and the new Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, story. Uh, so for those of you who don't know who she is, uh, here's what she looks like. She's a beautiful black woman. Uh, shout out to all my black women out there. Uh, I love you myself, so, you know. But, um, for those of you who don't know what Star Wars does to black people, um, here's just a little bit of what she said um, that she's been receiving on her Instagram. Um, your days are numbered. Hey, yo, uh, Kenobi, you ain't finna run forever, white boy. Get back here. Uh, she's the third sister. Um, you have now been converted into the St. George of Floridium of Star Wars. Are you happy? How the fuck does an <laughs> how the fuck does this alien know Ebonics? I, I I guess that's just what he or she is trying to say. Uh, you suck, loser. You're a diversity hire, and you won't be loved or remembered for this acting role. Um, yeah, that's heavy. Um, so here's some more stuff here saying that there, there are more than 20 million sentient species in the Star Wars galaxy. Don't choose to be racist. That is what, uh, the official Star Wars, uh, thing said. Here they are right here. Let's see. Okay, here we go. There are more than blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, um, I've been reading through a few things here, just seeing... You know what's what's going on what they're saying um so a lot of this was like the same issue that john boyega had um and a few other diverse characters in the story um and yeah there's a lot of racist star wars fans out there that's what they are on um same thing with marvel same thing with this same thing with that um, so there's no doubt with that being happening, um, been happening, excuse me, but, um, the problem that I have with the Star Wars franchise is the fact that they are bad with writing. They made Reva's story, which is Moses Ingram, um, they made her this angry um uh, off kilter uh unstable force in this in this story making her some making her some come off as a brash uh anakin clone in my opinion now they've done this with the bad writing prior uh with with finn's story uh for those of you who don't know who who finn is he is john boyega um, he played, uh, he played as a stormtrooper who turned to a, uh, turned to a good guy. Let me actually find the actual, uh, thing here. But, yeah, pretty much what goes on is that he turns into a good guy or whatever. Oh, I just am freezing. Let me refresh here. My bad, guys. Um, but yeah, so he, he turns into a bad guy. I mean, from a bad guy to a good guy, um, on the poster, he had a lightsaber, um, in, in the poster. And in reality, he does not have a lightsaber in the story that long. Um, he becomes just a regular gun toter or whatever the hell that you want to call it, which is dumb, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's his fault. He got stuck with a horrible role, um, which, of course, they always, they always do that. And that's pretty much, like, the big issue is that. Um, the fact that they can just, um, let me find this guy, so hold on, here it is. Um, the fact that they just put these black people in these already shady, like, positions, and then this gives the racist people who don't like, 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 the black character even more fuel and even more reason like to be mad because it's not their fault but it's the fact that they just screwed this wonderful character see here it is right here um they had to 
edited out uh, because of China. They don't really like black people there either. Uh, but here is left is for China, right is for everyone else. Um, so they made him quite smaller towards towards like the bottom right, even though he is a big character in like the story itself. Um, sort of, I guess. But after this, he he never held like a lightsaber ever. Um, but yeah, so there's that. So um, my my big issue with this statement is that they don't they don't care. Honestly, the problem is not just because she's black. There are people who who hate her because she's black, obviously. But it's it's the way that they wrote her. It's the way that they're just pulling a character who honestly isn't that important to like the Star Wars world and almost forcing it to be that important. Um, so Star Wars itself has issues. Um, I and here's what this guy said, Marcos. Um, the problem are you screenwriters. It's not about skin color. It's about how bad the, bad, like, the character is. Mace Windu is an example of a great Star Wars character, no matter what skin color he is. That is true. But, you know, he is like, he was the only main black character in Star Wars. And the fact that you can say that also shows your ignorance like behind it the fact that he is like he is in this vast vast world we've seen more Wookiees than black people like you know and that's just weird like to me because as a black guy it's something that you want to see when you're playing Star Wars or when you're young and watching Star Wars you want to be a Jedi and the fact that I can only be Mace Windu, that's off there, you know? Um, and we already read that, you know, she's she's definitely going to get hit with some threats, man. She is going to get hit with some threats. And this is the other thing here. Um, this person did, did point out, which is normal. There's only white people in this scene. Only white people. We can just look at this and just show how crazy like it is. This is a scene where they are, I believe they're headed into uh, to fight the uh, like to blow up the I'm drawing a blank here of the Death Star. And they don't have any black pilots ever anywhere. I don't know, man. But that's on brand for them. That's on brand for for Star Wars, for Disney, for the Star Wars fans. They know that they don't. They know they know that the Star Wars fans don't like black people, so they're not gonna put them in there. That does. That just obviously is like the right thing. Not the right thing, but that makes sense like for business. So, uh, all in all, man, um, being black and in, in a Star Wars movie. Is definitely one of like the hardest things to be because they will find every single reason every single little small reason or nitpick like the way you speak or the way that you look or even the way that you were written and be like see we shouldn't have like but hey that's just that just is what it is um, I hope that her story gets better like I said earlier um, I do believe that she got screwed with the way that, like, the story was written for her. Um, her, like, character, like, design is is not cool, in my opinion. I feel like that they could have made her just a whole lot more cool. Um, and as a Star Wars fan, I don't care about this story. I would rather, rather them either focus in on, on like, uh, other characters like showing uh, Luke more often as far as we don't care about him like being a, a kid I don't know how many times that they're going to show Tatooine and show him just running around doing like, the same thing I would have wanted to see him after after the revenge of, of, 
of like the Sith, his story after that, or even um, showing Princess Leia practicing with like a lightsaber, showing her do that training, showing that in, in, instead of her kid kid self just running around. That's dumb. Um, or if they were gonna show more of the uh, Sith Inquisitors, I wish that they made to have a much better, 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 um, a better. Like personality, you know. Um, not all black women are like this. Not all black people are like John, um, John Boyega Finn. Not all black people are like that. And the fact that they just put them all in this, you know, um, teetering the light side, dark side, being headstrong, being loud, being aggro, such as Mace Windu. Uh, I feel like that is really putting off the wrong image to to this. To this fan base because this fan base doesn't understand I, I like nuance ever so you know but the fact that they just don't even see that that is like an issue like to me as well as if they were really smart what they should have done is made her miss windu's daughter that would have been cool or done it to where that she could be finn's mother or something where that it could make like the story more like complete because I feel like there's a lot of plot holes in Star Wars, Star Wars just itself because it's such a massive world and that there's other things that they that they really could have done like to make it more interesting. But I don't know, man. That's just how I how I feel about it. Um, I'm sure this is gonna be a very long video. But it is what it is. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.